Hi Pisces, welcome to Buddy Tarot. This is going to be your reading from the 25th to the 30th of September 2023. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. So Pisces, you're focused on family this week, family stability, long-term, a long-term situation that you have been dealing with. Uh, there are other people uh, that are occupying your mind, you know, could be family members. This could also be a work situation, but I feel like, uh, you know, it's to do with the family because we do have the Queen of Cups. So that's, you know, emotional and matter of the heart. Now, the person you're dealing with is showing up as the Six of Wands. So this person is feeling good, confident. This person is, uh, you know, there is a recognition about whatever this person is doing and how good it feels. I don't know what this person is doing. Um, but people around this person also seem to be uh, acknowledging this person. Uh, the person you're dealing with could have returned from a voyage or some kind of journey. Now, the, I'm sorry about the... That's like my neighbor grinding spices for lunch, I think. I'm not sure. Sorry about that, guys. The mutual energy um, between you and this person is the Queen of Cups. So both you and this person want to be there for the other. Be, you know, um, be a shoulder to lean on. Be the confidant. Uh, you're coming in with a lot of love. And you're willing to receive love, most importantly, from the other. So let's look at the Ten of Pentacles, which is your energy for this coming week. Why is Pisces showing up as the Ten of Pentacles? The Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords and the Devil. What happened? So it looks like, uh, you know, Pisces, when it in relation to your home or your family life, the Ten of Pentacles is essentially our whole lives, everything that we put time, effort, energy into and everything we manifest. And, you know, the Ace of Swords is like an idea that comes out of nowhere. It just hit you, an idea that was related to, uh, you know, that is related to your stability your family but from the ace we're quickly moving to the two of swords so once you get this idea there are some there are some decisions that you'll have to make you know okay that's carpentry happening up there sorry about that pisces and thank you for your patience so it looks like you have an idea in relation to family or stability and now there is a decision a decision that that needs to be made and perhaps Pisces you feel like you don't have enough information to make the decision and you're waiting for your headspace and your heart space to align now the devil is here so I will have to talk about it um, now this idea that you have there could be something not so good about it you know I'm not sure or I don't know if this idea is in relation to a toxic connection that you are in with the Ten of Pentacles, but there is something around some unhealthy energy and you have an idea around it, you know, and you're trying to make a decision about it. And I feel like also, all right, Pisces, an important message that I'm getting right now is that you are seeing clearly some toxic pattern in your establishment, in your home, in your family. And it's like, there's clarity, but you're refusing to see it. You're refusing to see what is toxic about this shared dynamic with the Ten of Pentacles. So the divine is giving you the clarity and it's there, but I feel like with the Two of two of Swords and the, uh, uh, the Devil, you're blocking it. You're blocking the clarity that the divine is giving you. Let's look at the Six of Swords, uh, the Six of Wands for your person. Do have the six of swords at the bottom of the deck 
So perhaps this person you're dealing with is moving somewhere that they're feeling good about or they have come back from somewhere. <clears throat> Why the Six of Wands? So again, this is related to movement. The Knight of Swords is movement. The Chariot is movement. The person you're dealing with is really determined about moving. Either energetically or physically, but they really want to move. And they're confident about it. They're feeling good about it. But I feel like they could be moving towards something that could get them stuck in a situation. Or it also could, that's going, that's going by the visual because the Knight of Swords is, you know, hastily going into um, this Eight of Swords situation where, I'm so sorry about the sound, Pisces. I cannot make the entire building and neighborhood quiet. I've really been struggling to get sound noise-free readings. And it's festival time here and it's mm, going to get worse until your end. Anyway, so... If I go by the definitions, it's like this person is, was feeling trapped previously in a situation and now they're really determined to move away from it, you know, which is why they're feeling good because there is, there is definitely an energetic movement from, from fe feeling trapped to, you know, momentum. But if I go by the visuals, it's like this person feels like they're going in a certain direction, but actually they're going in another direction and they're going to land in themselves in some sticky situation. I know these are very contradictory messages, uh, Pisces, but I just don't know whether to go by the visual or to go by, go, you know, in an order. I'm just reading intuitively. Please just take what resonates with you. Now, the mutual energy between you and this person is the Queen of Cups. So let's clarify what this is about. Why the Queen of Cups for the mutual energy? So we have the Five of Wands, the Ten of Cups and the Two of Wands. So this is a family situation that you've had and there's been some conflict that could be, you know, with the Five of Wands and the, the Ten of Cups, there's like, there's like conflict in this family that could be, it doesn't necessarily have to be doesn't necessarily have to be conflict or if this five of wands was with uh you know the ten of pentacles i would have said maybe there's conflict over property or something but i don't feel that i feel like there is more of a conflict when it comes to this shared happy dynamic that you had this family that you shared with this person and with the two of wands it's like both you and this person feel good and confident about what you have shared in the past both the negatives and the positives and you both want to be there uh, you know as a confidant to the other um, you're both willing to receive uh, love from the other but but there is <sighs> i feel like this is more of your energy though pisces because this person does have the six of wands and the two of wands so this person is feeling good and confident and when it comes to you you know, I'm wondering what this devil is about and what it is that you're not seeing. Maybe it is Pisces that you're not seeing that, you know, there is conflict in this shared dynamic. And that's why the devil is here. And what, what, what you're blocking, I'm not sure. So the mutual energies, there's both positive and there's negative in the mutual energy. And there's more of positive. And I feel like Pisces, uh, you know, another deep message, it's, it's difficult for me to concentrate with this hammering above me. But I feel like as the Queen of Cups, you know, if this is you, because this is a water sign, the, the Queen of Cups represents water sign. And it's like, 
your concept of happiness you know there is there is something that you view as happiness but there is conflict within it and you're pretty confident about this bringing you happiness but it also brings in a lot of conflict and perhaps this is what you're not seeing um, you know with the devil and the two of swords so pisces this is what i have for you if you're still watching thank you for your patience thank you for watching sharing liking and subscribing and i will catch you again soon later bye